The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiku is safe. Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together information about the new island. In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. But there's a music venue! I got that, but what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. In the town with all those machines, I found a clue containing the file inside one of those laptops. You saw that too. Mm -hmm. I was told that about that by Nagito, so I checked it out as well. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope Speak Academy has already been destroyed. <laughs> huh? Hope Speak Academy's been destroyed? <laughs> it's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope Speak Academy would fall. But even if it's a prank, it's nothing. It's something that he should be allowed. It's not something he should be allowed to do. A symbol of hope getting destroyed, it's not something you should even joke about. Well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. If I remember to do that, I'll give it a try. So basically, on the island we found we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. Oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you don't have to correct this each time. However, it is not all bad news. Fuyuhiku would be able to return to us. <laughs> this guy, that guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think he's gonna come back to us. <laughs> he's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. Ah. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today too. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what others are saying. Okay then, since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Train? You say? You hate training. How rare of you. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. She's like really pumped up. Huh, I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, with that our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. Free time. Ibuki time? Now then, what should I do today? Um. Uh, oh, there he is. What's up, brother? Promised I'd hang out with you next time. Those who open the door to pandemonium and gaze upon the other side will awaken new power. However, in exchange, they must bear the terrible burden of eternal combat. For you, Hiko, what a pitiful soul. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Hell yeah, brother. In the past, I gazed upon the other side and was burdened for it. However, it is of no concern. After all, true happiness hides in battle. I was forced to listen to Gundam's stories about how he fought on many battlefields. Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Oh yeah, brother. Would you like to give him? I'll give him some whatever the hell this is. Well, I must say you pass, but only barely. Fine, in exchange for this item, I shall let you live a little while longer. Hold it, if you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Just as I thought, you know nothing. You will know, you will know true terror. If, you will know true terror if you look down, it, down on them just because they fit in my palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. They're territorial and frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Today's fight started when Sa uh, Sandy got greedy and er encroached upon Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was knocked aside, and his foot stepped into. Magazine's territory. Is that how you say it? Magazine's territory. Then Magazine got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champy. And I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. I see. That's troubling. Could it be the reason that Gundam's hand is always wrapped in. Could that be the reason why Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? By the way, do you know which species of my four Dark Divas of Destruction has the largest body? You mean which of the species. Which species of the hamster? Is it a golden hamster? Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? Yes, those fearsome demon beasts 
boast their largest size among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when biting and ripping their stands before them. But only Goldens know fear, thus they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. Are you saying they understand what happens when they bite people? That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm, I certainly didn't know that. However, that is not the only that is not the only feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You can even say they have unlimited combinations. But after much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with the dominant spots and bands. <laughs> but now, I can only do is pray for the safety of the mother and child that I've left behind. I do not- I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. Were you- You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. They know how to avoid my lethal genetics, and they will carry out my will and conduct an atro- no atrocious experiments. Beyond that, I have already ar made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they are born. Remember well. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels towards all animals, not just oh, hamsters. Gundam's report card has been updated. <laughs> After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. Ibuki time? It's still bright outside. There's no way I should just stay in my room and stare into space. It might be good for me to talk to everyone. Whenever I oh wait, didn't she say it was the morning she was gonna come? Or like, <clears throat> two hours after morning announcement. So I guess I get my full free time. That's where she always resides. Also, I guess I should take the moment to tell you all. I raised a pretty shitty pet. <laughs> that wasn't a funny joke. Come on, girl! Aw. Dots. What should I do? She seems really focused on gaming. Should I ask if she wants to hang out? Uh, I lost my focus and got killed. Oh, you don't really have to worry about it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chucky. I didn't mean to. I mean, I was doing pretty well, but now I have to do it all over again. Oh my god, you're making me feel like an asshole right now. And it was my very first time getting that far, too. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I spent tonight trying to ease Chiaki, who would seem to be holding a slight grudge. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little close. It doesn't seem like that to me. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Here, hell yeah. Don't worry. I'll give you something really nice here. Where, where was it? Uh, it's like down a lot. Uh, 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 there it is. You'll like this, right? It's a game thing. <laughs> Isn't that pretty rare item? It seems a little... I feel like I, it might raise the flag. Um, there's somewhere I want to go with you today. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Anywhere's fine. It's the first time Chucky has picked a place herself. My heart is starting to race. Chucky took me to the beach. <gasps> what? Dots. She's looking around for some reason. Hey, why'd you pick the beach after all this time? Did you want to swim or something? Uh, in those types of games... Usually, you put lotion on my back, right? And then you touch me in a weird place, and, t and I tell you it—it's a static, it's a standard tactic, huh? Which reminds me, where do you think the legendary tree is growing? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm confused. What kind of games are you talking about now? I should give you three choices for what we're going to do from now on. Please select from the following three. Is this a new game of hers or something? I opened a piece of paper Chiaki gave me. Dots. Do I really have to choose one of these? Uh... Happy, 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 joy, joy? 
Happy, happy, joy, joy? What does that even mean? Um, I really don't know either, but it's probably something like this. Suddenly, Chiaki started running. Uh, catch me if you can! She continued running across the beach. Dots. I had no choice, so I chased after her. Aww! After chasing around for a little bit, we felt really tired and sat down on the beach. Chucky, what in the world are we doing? <sighs> I was thinking about overcoming the genre. I'm bad at it. Bad at... Oh, now I remember. The other day you mentioned that there are games you're not good at. Apparently my father also wasn't good at things like this. Well, this is the most difficult after all. But, hmm, I see. So this is what it feels like. Why do you feel convinced by yourself? Just now, that was a date, right? I think those are usually a little different, but I sort of understand what Chiaki meant when she said she's not good at this genre. She probably means dating sims. Exactly. After spending time with you, I realized something for the first time. There are a lot of things I still don't understand. For example, I know how babies are made, but I don't really know how to fall in love with someone. That sort of thing. Why would you use that as an example? Oh, what happened? Your face is red, Hajame. And my peepee's out. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Nothing happened. Just as I thought. There's still a bunch of stuff I don't know anything about. I want to know more about a lot of things. Because if I do, I'll be able to understand much more, I think. So, can you can you keep teaching me, Hajame? Yeah, of course. But in order to do that, we need to hurry up and get off this island. Ducks. Don't ever forget about me, even after you get out of here. Huh? I don't know why Chiaki would say something like that, but there's no denying that this strong bond between I've, between Chiaki and myself. I will definitely get out of here and take Chiaki to a lot of different places. Why did she say that? Chiaki's report card has been updated. I unlock cheat code. Give yourself a smack on the back. Wait, what? You have obtained Chiaki's undergarments as a present. Ha! Huh. I will cherish them forever. After discussing different ideas about where we should go next, I return to my room. That was cute. You gotta admit, that was cute. Come on now. It's almost time to meet with Ibuki. We had to- Oh, it was aft. Okay. We had to meet at the supermarket. I should head over. Okay. Good evening, now. <laughs> right here, Hijame. Hey, Ibuki. Uh, what's with the piles of cardboard boxes? Yes! <laughs> Summer is about all the fireworks. Fireworks? Dirty fireworks disappear into the sky. It's a lyric from Christmas festivities. Now, Hajame, let's carry these cardboard boxes to the beach, and I'll leave the setting up to you. Huh? All of this? Just the two of us? My, my, you're pretty gusty, Hajame. And are you saying you want to be alone with me on the beach at night? No, I didn't mean that. Nah, I'm just kidding. I also invited the others, like Chiaki and Akane. Everyone else brought all the fireworks here. We can just leave the rest to Hajame and Ibuki, and the others can change into their Yukatas. Huh? Yukatas? Yes! So Sonya would... Or as Sonya would say, Japanese Yukatas. If, if you work hard here, and you see Sonya, Sonya Makan, and Nekomaru all wearing Yukatas. I see, Yukatas, huh? <laughs> it looks like it, it looks like some give and take has been established. Wait, hold on. Nekumaru is coming too? If you invited him, then why isn't he here right now? Nekumaru helped out during the day, but now it's your turn, so I'll leave everything to you. Uh, hey, Ibuki! She didn't even hear me. I let out a sigh and picked up the cardboard boxes and started walking towards the beach. It's not like I was lured by the Yukatas. I'm, I'm probably not even saying that right. Yo! Yahoo! A firework disappeared in the sky! J Japan summer. Nervous summer. It's gonna be fine. There's no way to, the sparks will fall all the way down here. Yo! Amazing. How wonderful. <laughs> this sure is fun. Aww. Hey, why is Nekumar shouting like that? D don't you know? That's what you do when the firework goes up. I see. That's pretty interesting. You, you go, girl! Huh? Was that okay as it is? Hajame! Get him up there more! I know, I know. Hey, uh, Hajame, once you're finished launching that one, I'll trade with you. Enjoy the fireworks, too. 
After having such a fun time, I return to my cottage with a feeling of satisfaction. Knowing that one day I'll obtain the spaghetti. That was cute. I'm guessing that was another one of those side events. Ham, hope speak executive minutes now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms, relax, generally go to sleep. Good night. It's not like I was having anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. Or so we thought. Mana Kuma Thief! It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget. They all be are, are becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way in dealing with worry? Boop, 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 boop. Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. Hell yeah. I feel like that was very inspirational. I like those ones. It's okay to worry, because it kills time. Holy shit, what the hell? Good morning, looks like today's gonna be another perfect tropical day! What the? Heh <laughs> what a huge success! I received such a nice reaction! Ibuki, how'd you get in here? Jeez, Ajami, you're so careless. Careless? I made sure I locked the door. And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why'd you destroy it? Man, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? Heh <laughs> Four heads. Now, that was just three. Ah, uh, now I got time. I've got no time to nitpick others. And hurry. Then hurry up and go and meet at the restaurant. I'll explain the details there. So, I'm counting on you. She's like a hurricane. But did she take the time to come all the way to my college to summon me? Did something bad happen again? Dots. I'm feeling a little depressed now. Jesus, I was ready for the announcements. I was just like, oh, I'm going to skip through. And then she's like, yo! Took me by surprise, fam. Almost done near pooped myself. Oh, great. I don't want to talk to you. I hate you. Go die. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Ah, good morning, Hijame. Gods. Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that your our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Gods. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little better now, right? What do you mean? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say it felt unplatable to me, but Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. He used Peko's death as a stepladder so he can shine even brighter and cling to an even stronger hope. You? Huh? You don't agree? Oh, but it's decided that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progressed forward. <laughs> Oops, we should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. How long does he plan on keep saying such foolish things? Because he's fucking, he's a fucking loony. He really only cares about hope. Mm. It's you, Hijame. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Yeah, it seems so. Has she gone around waking people up? Did she break the lock on your room too? No, that never happened. I was awake by the knock on my door going at a 337 clapping rhythm and some shouting. That sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? But before, but for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this. Next, let's make haste and head over. He's right, I should hurry too. Dude, sometimes when I, like, hold out words, I can feel my teeth vibrating. It's gross. And, like, very sensational at the same time. It's weird. My vocal cords are vibrating at a sporadic manner. Good morning. I am glad that today is another clear and sunny day. Another? More like? Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? No, it might be the best if I don't think about it too deeply. Well, didn't it say this island literally never rains? I'm pretty sure that was in the pamphlet, right? That's like, it, it, it's 90% sunny days or some bullshit. So like, it's not out of the question for it to only rain like two days of the year or something. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's backs as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. 
What the hell? I got something I want to say. For you, Hiko? Is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, he shouldn't be okay. What, uh, whatever I say at, after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuyuro. My first name is pronounced Fuyahiko. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. But from this point forward, I hope we can get along and get to know each other better. Huh? Did he just... What? Just what the hell was that? It's nothing, really. Just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like you it was... That was the first time... Fuyuhiku ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours. Uh, it's nothing. There's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer. You can't see out of it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's only one eye. Besides, don't don't it look like I've gained some prestige or something? Fuyuhiku, why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now, Yoko? Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Don't you get it? It's all your fault Mahiro's dead. No, not just Mahiro. Peko died because of you, too. It's all your fault. Dots. Um, Hyoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. Dots. Yeah, you're right. It is my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead. Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? That's not it. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. He's apologizing. Fuyuhiko? Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think you're gonna we're gonna forgive you if you drop down to your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No, I don't think that at all. Oh shit. Um. Uh huh. This, this is. Ah, it's blood, blood! Ah! For you, he go and split his own stomach. Huh? What? Are you saying he cut open his own friggin' stomach? What? What are you doing? I, I didn't. I'd be. I'd be forgiven with such a half assed apology. But if I do this, my, my feelings won't be. won't feel resolved. You fool, that doesn't mean you should slice your own stomach! We must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible! You're right, Kazuichi, lend me your hand! Yeah, sure thing. Stop it, I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk! Ha! Huh? Even though I, I took the time to patch you up, now you need to I sew, I need to sew your wounds all over again. I feel ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? Let's go! The others carried for you who go out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were still left there. Dots. Now, can you really say he doesn't give a shit anymore? He's not like Byakuya and is like, oh, I'm an asshole all the time. No, he actually has feelings. He feels bad that those two died for him. And now he's trying to make amends with you. And you're still being an asshole about it. So stop being an asshole about it, alright? Let's everyone just calm down. Let's take our chill pills. Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Dots. Hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about it for a while, but... What would my hero say about this? I know you guys were best friends. So what do you think? I keep burping now. What would my hero say? What would Mihiro say? She'd probably get mad, really mad. And after she got mad, dots. More dots. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we were forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how to how we were supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hmm, that's a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone else know where Akane is? Ha! Huh? Huh, now that you mention it, she's gone! It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? 
I mean, and hasn't it been... Hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? She's always weird. But a little more worried, though. She's not the one to be to worry about. Dots. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. Free time? I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as useless day for us anymore. Break off! It's actually in her cottage, so we will talk. Ding dong! Bing bong! Y yes? Aw. She's got a bunch of, like, medical stuff. That's cute. I guess I can't expect anything. Oh yeah, see, she doesn't have the, she has just like a cross through the, I just noticed she doesn't have like a, uh, what the hell you call them, I don't know, over her thing, she's just, probably because it's more like patient style, you know what I mean? Because like, obviously they don't want to have, but yeah. I can't believe someone would actually slit their stomach. What should I do? Should I invite Makana to hang out? Oh yeah. His life is already saved once, you know? How can he do something like that? I spent today, time today cheering up a depressed Makan. It looks like Makan and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Hell yes. What would you like to give her? Uh, water. Is this something you throw or hit things with? That's what you said last time. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm actually sure take it. Why do you just throw water around? Yeet! This bitch empty! Yeet! <laughs> dots. More dots. This is bad. If this sounds goes on any longer. Um, did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you didn't do anything. I already told you that I just want to talk to you normally. <laughs> I see. I'm glad. Um, if you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone else likes yet. Well, um, there might be a lot of things I'm not good at doing, but... I'll do anything, so please let me know. To do anything? Of course, I'll do anything. Hey, I don't think you should say something like that so freely. Huh? Why? I mean, before we even arrived here, everyone else didn't seem to mind. For fun, I tried eating strange bugs, and I let them use my body when they there wasn't anything else to write on. Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be at the target for dart games, so... <laughs> I'm pretty useful, you know. The fuck? Yeah, you need a hug. You absolutely, without a doubt, need a hug. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, that doesn't sound like a joke at all. How can you be smiling when you are forced to do stuff like that? Do you actually enjoy it? Obviously, I don't want to do stuff like that at all. But if it makes everyone not hate me and smile at me, then it's much better. <laughs> For some reason, I feel this profound concern. Why is she like this? Um, Hijame, uh, um, would you like to try it out too? <laughs> Doodling is very fun. Please draw me whenever you like. Um, also, I'm good at pretending to be a pig. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Just please don't look at me like that. Uh, sorry. For now, let's talk again later. You need to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'll make sure to get it right. I'll make sure to get it right next time. So please don't hit me again. I beg you. Sure, I promise. So I'll see you later, all right? <laughs> yes, I'll be waiting forever. It's like a, I, it's like I ran away or something, but I should definitely try to talk to her properly next time. <laughs> yeah, she's a little... She's one of those. I returned to my room, but I felt like Makan was still watching me from somewhere. Forever. Forever and ever and ever. Still bright out. There's still plenty of time today. There's no way I can just sit here and do nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Free time! <laughs> but Ross, why hang out with assholes when you can hang out with cool people? I know, I know, everyone's gonna hate me, I know, I know, but I feel bad and I want to talk to her and make her understand that being a human requires more than just being a, a poo-poo head. 
I want to talk to her, make her feel, especially since like her best friend and the only person that actually talked to her on this island is dead now. I kind of feel bad. So like, uh, you know, at least one time, let's let's interact with her. As much as nobody likes her, gods. I wonder what my hero would do. What should I do? Should I hang out with Yoko? Hell yeah, gods. You must be really bored. I spent to time today being verbally abused by Hyoko, but she seemed less abusive than usual. Looks like Hyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hyoko a present? I guess. It'll probably keep her from bopping me on the head. Uh, I'll just, uh, I guess, yeah. Yay! Yay! This looks like boring and shady that doesn't suit me at all, but I guess I'll act happy for now. Hey, Hijame! I've been thinking about this since I first met you, but will you get mad if I say it? I'm not gonna get mad every time you say something to me. I see, then I'm gonna say it! Um, um, I've been thinking ever since I first met you. You have a shady looking face, and you look like the kind of person who's lazy, uh, too lazy to try hard. And not only that, I think you're so hopeless for coming after me like some pedo pervert. Ho, oh, ochamate! Oh, <laughs> if you think that I have a shady looking face, well, I guess I can't let that slide. But you better take back that last part. When did I ever come after you? Huh? <laughs> you said you said you wouldn't get mad. <laughs> Crap, there's no way I can leave her alone when she's acting like this. Sorry, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Please don't cry anymore. <laughs> then, if you're really sorry, can you buy me the thing that I like? Um, what the heck? <laughs> Fine, what do you want? What do I have to buy you? Um, it's shaped like a star, and it's small, and it's cute, and it's sweet. She's probably talking about crumpets. Definitely crumpets. So you just want candy, right? I wonder if I saw any sh star-shaped ones. <laughs> Wrong! It's not something that boring! Oh, it wasn't candy? It's smaller and cuter than normal candy. Jeez, what the hell? Oh, is it whatever the hell this is? With conf confido? Is that how you say it? I don't know what the hell that is. Um, do you mean confido? Is that... That must be some sort of, like, foreign candy or something. I don't know about that. Yoko nodded silently. Or, like, some pastry. Is it a pastry? Phew, at least she stopped crying. Then do you want me to go buy it right now? Just so you know, you won't find that at the supermarket. Huh? Really? Jeez, Hijame, you're such a pushover. You totally promised me without realizing it was impossible. And you even got tricked by my fake crying. No, you definitely weren't faking those tears. Jeez, you're so hopeless. I guess I'll go easy on you to make and make you bring me something else. Let's see. Go steal Sonya's panties for me. What? Are you trying to make me a criminal? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Bring me Gundam's earring then. And you better steal it. I don't want you to borrow it. You don't really want it. You don't really want it, do you? You're just trying to make me suffer. Just let me bring you a different snack. I'll get you something li something you like. Aw, but they don't have anything cute there. I gotta have something cute like flower candies made with re re uh, refined Japanese sugar. You spoiled little brat. There's no way I can get those kinds of traditional candies here. Ah, uh, but just as I thought, you really do like traditional Japanese candy, huh? Well, it's so elaborately made and it's practically art. They're so small and sparkly and cute. I love them so much. Foreign sweets are made with too much sugar and they're perfect for uncultured idiots. If she hadn't said that last part, it would have been I would have been impressed. Well, this is Hyoko after all. I guess I just have to accept it. But I do feel like I understand Hyoko a little more now. Yeah, she likes candy, I guess, because I don't know, she's a little brat. <laughs> Hyoko asked me to do do impossible things for her all day, but by the time I returned to my college, I was wiped out. You know, it just be like that. Sometimes you gotta kick yourself in the testicles. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already. Huh? That felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. Did they just... Hint at, like... Never mind. Okay, right, ding dong. The doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walk toward the door and open it slowly, wary what might be on the other side. Nice to have meet ya! Or met ya! It's the... It's the past tense of nice to meet ya, you know? Since we've already exchanged nice to meet yous. Ibuki, you again? Allow me to apologize for surprising you with such a sudden visit. I'm sorry! Well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. 
Taha! <laughs> but you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have to gout. Uh, uh, so what do you want? Um, Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? See? This thing! What invitation? That's totally a girl's writing. Invitation ticket, 9pm, titty, ty titty typhoon party for Fuyuhiku Kuzuyo's recovery. Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiku at titty typhoon at... <laughs> I can't, I can't read that. <laughs> Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiku at titty typhoon at 9pm. Okay. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Ha <laughs> Rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma! Is this your doing? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, at all. Ibuki just, just brought the invitation. That's definitely her. Well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to ya. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Um, Titty Typhoon is the music venue on the third island, right? Huh, 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes! But even though it's a party for Fuyuku's recovery, is it even going to- is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning, but she took the trouble to do all of this out of goodwill. I guess I should over to, head over to the music venue. You ever just notice that the ocean looks very two-dimensional? <laughs> yes, Ross, everything looks two-dimensional in this game because that's the art style of the game. Also, I gotta check my pet again. Cause it probably shit four- I had shit like four times! And I took like 20 steps! God damn. Also, I feel very, like, up close and personal in this area, you know what I mean? I feel like the camera's too close. Titty Typhoon! Hello, bro there's. <laughs> How do you do, fellas? <laughs> Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiku's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy. Oh, who cares anymore? <laughs> I'm not talking to Nigito because I hate him. <laughs> Several people have already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiku, why are you here? Huh? What, is it bad I came? No, not that, is it okay for you to move around? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. There's no way you're okay, you're seriously injured? <laughs> it took time to- you guys took time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. I'm not- Overdoing it. Fine then, just let him do whatever he wants. But. It's fine, just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down into an art. Dots. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. But it looks like Yoko definitely didn't come. That seems to be the case. And Akane's not here, too. What? That... Uh, what is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. Huh? Oh, my! Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was... Hey y'all, it's Ibuki Mo uh, Miyoda! Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! Haha, <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. Hope you all are pumped up! Just as I thought, that's, when she, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. Alright, I'll start singing the first song with, all, with full on energy! So put your hands together for, from me to you! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I could probably look forward to her musical stylings. Uh oh. Oh yeah! She's nailing that rift. 
I also feel a sudden urge to, like, collapse. I feel like I've just gone through a graveyard. Okay, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> Thank you, everyone! <laughs> I don't want to play through the whole thing because I think it goes on for like five minutes, so... If you are so inclined to uh, hear the whole thing, then I'm sure you can look it up elsewhere. <gasps> I'M GONNA GET CURSED! Such an overwhelmingly baleful resonance. Even my four dark divas of destruction look le look less lively than usual. I too am starting to feel chills. Ooh, with a title like From Me To You, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was creative differences. That must be why. Yahoo! That's awesome! For the first time I... That's the first time I've heard such a famous song! Yoko? Uh, you came. So what if I did? I was invited to, you know. But if you're attending Fuyuhiku's recovery party, that means you've already... Dots. Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. That's There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Because he's a Yakuza, you know. He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably pretending to be sorry, so you could try and trick us. There is no way that is possible. No, I get what she, that why she'd think that of me. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? Because th it does. Th this doesn't mean that we've made up or anything. I'm only co cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to get cut off. Who's going to get cut off? Dots. Sorry. Uh, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. Ew, don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hyoko, there's no way she would have ever forgiven Fu Fuyuhiko like this. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though a little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him, Monokuma. There's no way he- Oh, I thought we were talking about Nagito. I hate him so much. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? I don't hate him. He's just- he's like hot- like, I, I swear, he must have snorted some cocaine off his butt crack in the, <laughs> in the dining hall or something, like... Hey, how much longer are you guys gonna be bummed out? I came all the way out here because they- because you said it was a party! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song! Roger, thanks for waiting! Let's go right ahead into the next song! Huh? There's still more? Now that this recovery party is full in a full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood! Grab a partner and slow dance too! I squeezed out the baby, but now I have no idea who the father is! <laughs> Hell yeah! What a song title! No more! Hey, what's everyone doing here? Whoa, Monomi! Hey, don't interfere. Aw, I was just enjoying such a fun party, too. Oh, why was it invited? Why wasn't I invited to the party? Yeah, obviously not. You ruined the party if you were here. Double guess. But seriously, now's not the time. Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? I'm kind of... Akane is... Akane is dueling Monokuma! What did you say? At this point, Akane is going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. That stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was a fool. It was a mistake not to keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure would haunt me for the rest of my life if my name isn't Nekumar Nadia! Now is not the time for regret. Let us make haste! Of course! For you, Hiko, finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Hey, Monomi, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um, they were at the beach where we first arrived on this island. Please hurry! If you don't, you don't have to tell me. I'm going full speed ahead. We should hurry too. 
Nekomaru bolted out of the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed soon after him. I had a burp coming, I'm sorry. I, I should hurry to... Oh, there it is. God damn it. Dots. Hey, uh, everyone. Yeah, Buki, I'm sorry about your show. Dots. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, no, that's not it. I know Kane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw the half-baked comfort. If there was a song title, it'd be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. She's right, I should hurry too. Poor Ibuki, I enjoyed it for, you know, like the 30 seconds I listened. But Ross, why don't you just fast travel to the next area? Uh, because I need level up points. I need XP, ya dingus. It's just as Nekomar said, I can't stand any, any more situations where someone is taken any longer. There's no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the beach on the first island. Also, I should probably check my pet. Okay, he has some shit. That's oddly weird because, you know, take two steps and then my pet's like, oh, I pooped four times. And then it's like, sometimes he'll take a thousand steps and he doesn't poop at all. Just like real life animals. Just like babies. Chucky, what are you doing here? Hey, Chucky, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Calm down. Huh? It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way we can make good decisions if we're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Dots. Yeah, got it. I'm okay now. Then, let's go. Chucky seems to, like, really know how to deal with people and then simultaneously not know how to deal with people, so I really don't know what to make of her. I guess waifu. <laughs> After running to the beach at a full sprint, by the time I got to the beach the struggle, and, and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold right before me. Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries! Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? Damn it! Why? Why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on, a com we're com we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world more differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. Oop, 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 oop. It's obvious you can't win. Is she serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine and it's designed for combat. It's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks. Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because... It's possible that's why she's in this situation, right? As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it to fuel to bolst use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Like Fuyuhiku did, you see? I dude, I absolutely like you need to stop. You need to bull it. We're gonna tie you up again. Don't fuck with me! I, I never feel that feel I never wanna feel that feeling ever again. If I had to feel it that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs my life. No, 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 you can't. You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. It's just... Uh, it's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. You stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekomar Dindia's final firework! Make sure you uh, sear it into your eyes! Holy shit! Oh, he's gonna Mega Man her. Now then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this. Didn't I say I wouldn't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! The world shook and turned stark white, and as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact, it was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. 
Uh, Nekumaru! Nekumaru! Why did you save me? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, what a shame for someone like Nekumaru Nadia to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Nekumaru! Akane, the time I've spent with you, it, it wasn't so bad. Don't die, Akane. K Nekumaru! That's... Are you kidding me? Nekumaru died! Wah, 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 holy crap! Instead of a rule violator, Akane, what a major failure! I ended up killing Nekumaru, who had nothing to do with this! H hold on! It it's faint, but his heart's still beating! He's not dead yet! Huh? And you gotta treat him! Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekumaru like you saved me! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you w the one who violated the rules! Then let's just say we're even! Huh? In exchange for giving, a for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekumaru was the sacrifice! So, isn't that okay to say we're even? You're not gonna save him? Jeez, guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So, for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. The siren started ringing out of nowhere, and it gradually came closer and closer. Two hospital trips in one episode. No, actually, this is another episode, but... What, what, what? This again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. They even recycled the same line again? We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation. Step. So, I'll see you later. And after you said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekumar vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? Hey, he's gonna be alright, right? Nekumar's gonna be saved, right? Uh, of course, he's obviously gonna be saved. But Fuyuhiku finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekumaru is gone now. No more. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. Cuz, 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 cuz. This isn't cuz. This is what happens when you let your guard down. All this talk of, about everyone getting along. We were all fooling ourselves. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one at killed. Killed one after another. <laughs> Martin, it won't be a mystery when we eventually betrayed. I'm sorry, no, no, okay. Let's get back into character here. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Are you saying it is meaningless for us to even work together? If it really had if it really did have meaning, Nekumar wouldn't have ended like that. He ended up like that because of this weird feelings of friendship. Dots. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. Hiyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. We don't have to worry about Coach Nekumaru. Huh? Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault, and you're not even worried about him. Uh, Kane, you're not worried about Nekumaru? There's no way, need to worry about worrying. I know Co Coach Nekumaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There's no doubt. Nekumaru is definitely coming back. So, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak, and I caused him trouble. So, when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Akane? Dots. Aw. Well, I mean, you shouldn't have been a dum dum to begin with, but... <laughs> as we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. 
When we saw Nekumar's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just a wish that's just wishful thinking. <coughs> On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You realize you're still inside. And thus the nightmare continues. It's probably like getting old that I keep burping, but I honestly cannot help it. I apologize. Monokuma Theater. Monokuma Super Fable Story 58. A Tengu came from down the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. And the Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary. It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now's not the time to rise up against humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Monokuma's Super Fables, the end. Humans are scary. <laughs> Naham, host pictures, I say good morning, now then, enthusiasm. Dots. As usual, well, even if I could say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Does anyone even show up to the restaurant anymore? <laughs> No, I will admit, at least people are, I think, more, like, you know, gung-ho about the whole restaurant visit in this game than everyone else. Because, like, oh, oh the, that person came up with it from the beginning and we don't even talk about it anymore. <laughs> I'm Byakuya Togami and I like to read books. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's you, Hajame. <laughs> <laughs> even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. So <laughs> Nakamura, what a bat! what that best to mean by his final firework. That line's more suitable to a Yakuza, anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs, just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. <laughs> Shut up! Don't say another word! <laughs> just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Fuyuhiko? Huh? Uh, we should honestly stop bringing up Pekka. Like, he doesn't... He's probably super sad that he got her killed. And now he's... You know, we just keep- Oh yeah, just like Pekko did everything she could to protect you and you didn't really give a shit about her or tell her how you really felt. And then he's just always like in constant regret about it now. Good morning, Hajame. Yeah, morning. That's- Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekumaru. Come on, feel better. Dots. More dots. I'll try. I'm trying my best. Hmm? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is someone crying inside? Makan? Or is it Hyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. Alrighty then, my weeaboos. That's gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, gonna, I guess I'll use some of this time to give a little update. Uh, as far as this playthrough goes, I'm just gonna continue this as normal. And just go until the end whenever that happens probably not till the end of April or maybe beginning of May will probably run over into because we are this is chapter three and we we haven't hit the motive yet so we're probably maybe like halfway through the game kind of um, after once about summertime hits I'm thinking more of doing multiple playthroughs or trying to or at least while I'm doing a playthrough of a game, I want to have- I'm going to use- Whether it be like leftovers and or just dumb stuff that I play that can't really be like a walkthrough, more just like multiplayer stuff, I guess. I don't know, I might like make that- release those as separate things, just to- Get more content out on the channel, obviously. I don't have much, I just have my Dong and Rampa playthrough on it, so I want to- I want to play more games, obviously, for everyone. So look forward to look forward to some 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 new stuff coming this summer. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope to see y'all in the next one.